It's, it's an honour to be here today representing my professional body, the British Dietetic Association, and I'm also here representing myself as a passionate advocate for sustainable diets. Two things, a sustainable diet is not just a fashion fad, and a sustainable diet is not just about being vegan. A sustainable diet is many complex things. Now Michael Pollan said it very simply, he said, eat food, not too much, mainly plants. And they're the three things that I'm going to unpick now. The first of those, eat food. Food is an identifier and maker of class, culture and civilization. And food is symbolic. The food choices we make, or the lack of choices for some, are governed by a lot of different and complex factors but we've lost our true connection with our food and partly due to the industrialization of our food system. The second point, not too much. In some ways we've never had it so good because we've got enough food to feed the world. But we're eating too much and that's causing massive health problems. 15% of deaths in the UK are attributed to diet alone. But not only that, the food that we eat and overconsume has massive environmental impacts as well. So we know in the UK that our um, food system is responsible for up to 30% of greenhouse gas emissions, biodiversity loss, water, water use, and 10 million tonnes of food is wasted or spoiled every year in the UK. And livestock production is the main culprit. The third point, mainly plants. The evidence is strong that by reducing meat and dairy consumption we can have positive impacts on health and the environment. This doesn't necessarily mean becoming vegan, although a vegan diet, if followed well, can be really positive for the health and the planet, but what we know from the evidence is that any change to diet needs to be sustainable, achievable and culturally acceptable. So it's not appropriate necessarily that everybody becomes a vegan. So to round up, dietary change is needed on a massive scale. Collective action is essential for the future of humankind and the future of our planet. It's the only planet we have, our pale blue dot, as Carl Sagan put it in the 90s, which takes me on to my final point. I'm here today to promote the, the launch of the new One Blue Dot project by the British Dietetic Association. This is a really excited, exciting new project that supports dietitians and other health professionals to support the public to make the changes they need in order to enhance their health and the, the health of the planet. We all have a role to play, government, professionals, NGOs, communities, individuals, and you. So what's your home take home message and what change are you going to make? Because it's really important that every little change we make individually joins together and creates a collective movement for transformational change.